This is your boy, Doc Holiday. We're back with another video presented to you by HBCU Overdrive. If you haven't done it by now, make sure that you like this video, comment, share, most of all, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell to get everything HBCU Overdrive. It's time, y'all. It is time. Saturday night. It is going to be here no time soon. We got the MEAC SWAC Challenge. Going up against South Carolina State is Jackson State. What we have right here is two blue bloods in the HBCU world. You got the old guard, Coach Buddy Pugh, going into his final season after announcing that he's going to retire at the end of the year. He's going up against a young gunner in T.C. Taylor from Jackson State. Both coaches play for their respective schools. Both coaches are head coaches at their respective school. But the difference is now, one is going to be here for a long time. The other is going to exit stage right in November. So the tale of the tape, we go ahead and start off with South Carolina State. Buddy Pugh returns his starting quarterback in Corey Fields, who averaged a little bit over 1,400 yards passing last season, 14 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. Question about what he's who he's going to pass the ball to. Since his leading receiver, Shaq Davis, is in the NFL right now. There is going to be a plethora of young receivers for him to distribute the ball to. In this game, we're going to be looking at more of a ground and pound from South Carolina State. with a bevy of running backs headlined by Tyler Smith, a Gaffney, South Carolina. And then on the defensive side of the ball, the Bulldogs bring back Jablonski Green, who was recovering from injuries last season. The man in the middle, Patrick Guy Bolt, a wrecking ball at linebacker. But they're going to be young in the secondary. So they will be tested throughout this game. Then we have uh, the true blue faithful. Jackson State University, like I said, headline and led by T.C. Taylor. Now, Jackson State is going into this game with some unknowns. Offense would be unknown. The defense will be unknown, but the man who runs the show, T.C. Taylor, is the mainstay. His whole coaching staff is brand new. 
his whole team. Minus players from last season who decided to stay. Is a different team. In my opinion, I expect Jason Brown to be our starter for Saturday night. But he won't be alone with distributing the football. Standing behind him, he'll have a bevy of running backs headlined by J.D. Martin, Desmond Moultrie, and a newcomer to the team, Ezekiel Johnson. As far as receivers go, those high-powered receivers that we had last season, they're gone. But we have a couple of people that decided to stay. Leading the charge at receiver is going to be Rico Powers. And a security blanket for our QB and DJ Stevens at tight end. Offensive line looks stacked. With starters like Evan Henry, Kirk Ford, a Christian Gonzalez, DeAndre Towns Blue, and so forth. On the defensive side of the ball, the two juggernauts in the middle, Devontae Davis and Jeremiah Williams, return on a stout defensive line that led the FCS in sacks last season. On the edge, you have Antonio Doyle returning. And we got a new face on the other side of him in Philip Webb, in which I think he will start Saturday night. Linebackers, we have a few questions, but I'm looking at Alan Walker, Tim Stewart, to fill in that void that was left by the SWAC Defensive Player of the Year last year and Aubrey Miller Jr., the back end of the defense, those DBs, strap season, still be anchored by Jalen Hughes on one side and Keverick Wiggins, a.k.a. K-5, on the other. At safety, you have a FCS All-American who is making his debut in the SWAC with the Sayers Guthrie. When playing while at Delaware State, he was a ball hawk who led his team with four interceptions. Let's hope that translates the same with this squad on special teams you got Gerardo Baeza aka G baby who's going to be handling the place kicking duties and as far as punter you got another FCS All-American and Matt Knoll who also is a transfer from Delaware State 
And he is going to be a difference in the special teams because I feel like he will be able to flip the field in favor of Jackson State. Overall, this team, this 2023 team, is going to be the epitome of what we saw back in the 80s and the 90s. I will say this. Coach T.C. Taylor does have some huge shoes to fill. But I feel that he will fill those shoes and keep the party going. I like our chances in this game. And I will give my prediction. And the final score will be Jackson State on top, 27, South Carolina State, 21. Jackson State are 18-point favorites right now. But that may change before the ball is even kicked off. But you heard it from me. You heard it here first. You got to love it because football is back, y'all. Football is back. Again, make sure that you like the video. Make sure that you comment, share, and also, like I said, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell to get everything HBCU Overdrive. And to become an exclusive family member, become an exclusive member of the Overdrive family. We have two tiers. We have the purple and we have the blue. Your membership helps out with the channel and it helps grow the channel. But as always, this has been another HBC Overdrive video. I am your boy, your guy, your player partner. Doc Holiday, the voice of the HBCU culture. And as I give it to you, as I leave it to you, uh, as always, be blessed, stay safe, and stay dangerous. We out this thing. We will be back on tonight. after the game. See y'all tonight. Peace.